Hi Tom here and welcome to this week's Circle Line Art School video, how to draw a high school hallway in one point perspective. For this drawing I use a 4B pencil. The first step in this drawing is to draw a horizontal line in the middle of your page and then draw a cross or vanishing point in the centre of this horizontal line. Next we can draw four diagonal lines from the vanishing point in the centre to the four corners of the paper. You could use a ruler or just draw the lines freehand, makes no difference. We can now draw four more lines from the vanishing point to the base of our page coming forwards, with even spaces between the four lines. This will be for the large tiles that we're going to draw on the floor. Next draw a horizontal line between these lines and then a series of about five more horizontal lines above the first horizontal line. The spaces between each of these five smaller horizontal lines needs to get smaller itself as the lines get nearer the vanishing point. In this way, we've created a simple checkered floor. Next, we can draw two more diagonal lines on the left and the right above our earlier diagonal lines. And now, if we draw a vertical line here from the edge of this square on the floor to the top diagonal line, that can be the corner of our first group of lockers. Now, I'll just draw another vertical line Again, in line with the square on the floor for the further away edge of the locker. We can repeat this to draw more vertical lines on the right hand side of our drawing for another locker on the right hand side. We can now draw more vertical lines from the checkered floor going up to the diagonal line to the top diagonal line on the left and the top diagonal line on the right. These lines for the edges of the lockers will naturally get shorter as they go towards the vanishing point. The vanishing point is the furthest thing in the distance in one point perspective. Now we can add some short horizontal lines from the top and the bottom of these new vertical lines for the lockers. And in this way, we can be making the sides of the lockers on the left. And then again, if we repeat this process on the right of the drawing, we can make the sides of the lockers on the right by adding just these short horizontal lines to the top and bottom of the earlier vertical lines. Now it's time to erase some of the lines that we no longer need. For example, the horizontal line at the beginning of the drawing, we don't need that anymore. And the lines that overlap the lockers that are now behind the lockers, we can erase those too. We can now, I think, See how this one point perspective is creating a tunneling effect of lines looking like they're going away in the distance, creating a sort of three dimensional effect, even though it's obviously just a two dimensional surface of a piece of paper. Next, I can see now that I've erased some lines that I've also missed some of the edges of the lockers on the floor. So I'll just add those in now. I always think it's actually good sign if I notice something that I need to change. It gives me a chance to improve the drawing. It is the things that I don't notice that are the issue. For example, I've just noticed that the locker on the right is lower than the locker on the left. And I want this drawing to look symmetrical, so I want to line these two up. So the easiest way to do this would be to redraw the locker on the left to make it a similar height to the one on the right and then just erase the lines that I no longer need. Now we have all the lines and structure for this drawing of a high school hallway with lockers and a checkered floor. We've got everything in place, all in one point perspective, which means that all of the diagonal lines in this drawing, all of them go to the vanishing point. And all of the other lines are either vertical lines going straight up and down or horizontal lines going straight across. And all of these vertical and horizontal lines are at right angles to each other. But also these vertical and horizontal lines are parallel with the vertical 
side of the paper and the horizontal side of the paper. I'll speed up the video now at this stage so that you can see how the drawing develops over time. I'll add some smaller details, but basically I'm just going to use a 4B pencil to draw in some dramatic tones. The checkered floor is black and white, and then I'll put in the reflections of the lockers in the checkered floor. I'll make sure that the lights in the ceiling are light by making the ceiling around them pretty dark. I want the whole image to be quite dark, but of course for your drawing it's totally up to you what you would like to do in your drawing. I just wanted to show you the basics of how to draw in one point perspective. Thank you very much for watching this art tutorial. I post a new how to draw video every Saturday. 
and there are now over 220 of my YouTube videos on my Circle Line Art School channel. Please click on one of the links to see more or go to my website circlelineartschool.com. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.